Welcome back to this week's Paint Your Style. It's another week of not painting landscapes, which are probably my least favorite Paint Your Style weeks. This week it's actually painting a picture of food, which is another first time for me. So we're going to see how this goes. I have once again posted the long form version, so if you want to hear my in the moment talking to myself as I paint, that is up on the channel, but if you want to see the former edited version, here you go. I picked, for the most part, two versions of each color so that I had a light and a dark to work from. Some of these are new colors, some of these are colors that I've had for a bit. The Rosa Galleries are new to my palette, and I've only had them for a couple weeks. I'm not totally sold on them yet but I do like their price point, so we're going to see how they work in my palette more practically. For swatch paper, we are using the Lennox Cotton Mini Pad, but for the actual painting process, I'm back to using the Cotton Paper Squares from Amazon, just because I really like the size of the paper that it comes in. It means that I don't have to cut down my sheets to a smaller size, and that's always nice. I'm using my Tinterado Synthetic Score Brush for swatching. I think I'm going to have to get a size 0 soon. This is the size 2, and I'm finding it slightly too large for some of the things we're doing in Paint Your Style, but it is by far my favorite brush, and I use it every day, so I think it might just be time to upgrade to the smallest size it comes in. I'm using a fountain pen with Verisol Press ink in it, because it's just the pen I had inked up on my desk. I always have a phantom pen inked up on my desk and it just happened to be this one. I also started with doing a reference sketch, which I never do. I'm notoriously bad for not doing one of these ahead of time. And I decided to do it this time. I needed a better idea of just how I was making this image work on this piece of paper and I'm glad in the end I did it because even though I lost the lines as I painted, it sort of gave me an idea of how everything fit in the space and as somebody who lives with a brain injury, I needed to sort of visualize how everything fit together before I could settle down and paint this. I really wasn't excited going into this paint your style. I thought it was going to be incredibly hard. In the end though, I actually really enjoyed the painting process for it, which was shocking to me. It was one of those paint your styles where I was actually able to relax into the painting process and just sort of let things happen. This is the Lisa Alden palette because my other palettes are all set up for projects. And so I am using the Mini Ceramic palette, which is my favorite palette currently, and has been for nearly a year that I've owned it. I know lots of people would look at it and go, it's too small to be practical. It's great. It fits in a Mini Altoids tin and has magnets on it, so it is the perfect ceramic palette to travel with. I don't know that she still makes them. If she does another release of those, I highly recommend picking one up. I am going to leave you here. I will try my best to leave timestamps. I don't always remember. And I hope you enjoy. I will also leave the link to all the other painting styles that I've done because there are now many of them and they are always a fun challenge to do. It is a weekly paint challenge on Instagram that's been going on for over a year and I participated on and off in 2022 and have been participating pretty consistently since about April 2023. Thank you.